Hey there, this is Brian trying something new with the video recording. I figure, uh, I don't know, just uh, had a day off work today, so I might as well try new technology. Um, speaking of new technologies, I got the GoCube Edge recently. So, uh, participating in the uh, Red Bull Mind Gamers Challenge, I saw that Red Bull also has a lot of uh, Rubik's Cube activities going on. So, um, there, there's a challenge. I am too late to enter the challenge, and I probably wasn't going to come anywhere close to the top anyways. But, uh, just to see how quickly you can solve a Rubik's Cube. So, I'm always interested by that kind of thing. And um, I got this connected Bluetooth cube that syncs to your phone. So it shows on your phone where you are, it lets you do tutorials and uh, teaches you the movements. Really helpful. So I got this yesterday in the mail, played around with it for a little while, spent about an hour in the tutorial. Um, after that hour, I feel like I had a pretty good hang of it. So I went back, tried starting from scratch, and then forgot everything. So I've been practicing the early steps. I'm not going to go all the way today, but what I'm going to do is time myself up until the last point I can get to. So I have my phone timer up right now. I'm gonna start the clock and work on, I've got a pretty well scrambled Rubik's Cube here. I'll talk through what I'm trying to do with the stages that they taught me and we'll see how far I get and how long it takes me. So three, two, one, and go. Okay, so the first step is I need to make the daisy on top of this. So. A yellow surrounded by four white edges. So there's one of them for the daisy. Two, two of them for the daisy. Three. And four. So now that I've got that, I have to form this uh, white cross on the other side. So I'll rotate that one around. Rotate that one around. All right, there I go. I've got a white cross on this side with matched pairs of dots in the middle on each of these other sides. Now I'll finish off the bottom corner. And there's another corner, there's one corner down. I'll pick another. There's two. There's three. And the final corner. is there. So the bottom now is now all white and I've got these nice uh, layer completely solved on the uh, lowest layer. So now I'll fill in the middle. And this one I've been practicing a little bit, trying to figure out a good way to allow myself to practice it. So Okay, so I'm trying to, so I just got this one with the red, the red here and the blue here adds up now. So let's say this position. And there's another one that's lined up and then finally we have the last one. And now we've got the white on the bottom. I'll stop the clock. So I'm just under three minutes. Two minutes, 59 seconds is when I hit the stop button. So I've got the white on the bottom. I have the greens nicely lined up here. Red's nicely lined up here. Blue's nicely lined up here and orange nicely lined up there. So now all that's left is this top layer and there's some tricks to doing that one. So um, I remember the part of the tutorial where it's a different trick depending on what the layer on the top looks like right now. 
Um, this is a different layout than the one when I did the tutorial, but even then I'd have to go back and rehearse it a little bit. But uh, I've been practicing this first step today as I've had time when I've been on a phone call like with, uh, with just the group, the intro call for the uh, Red Bull Discovery Lab, which was today. We were waiting to get started. I was playing around with this a little bit, but so far so good. So I've spent about um, probably total time, maybe an hour and 45 minutes playing around with this thing, an hour for the tutorial, 45 minutes outside of that, just tooling around this morning and um, able to get to the first two layers in about three minutes. So ultimately what I'm looking to do is try being able to solve the whole thing in under one minute. So that's going to require me to be a lot faster, but uh, I think it's attainable. I feel like this is... Um, I've been getting faster and better at it as I go, so practice makes perfect.